Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic. Thank you for joining me today as we delve into a crucial aspect of construction safety, the responsible and safe use of aerial work platforms, specifically focusing on scissor and boom lifts. In the dynamic world of construction, where heights and complex structures are an everyday challenge, ensuring the well-being of our workers is paramount. Aerial work platforms, or AWPs, have become an indispensable tool in the construction industry, providing access to elevated work areas that would otherwise be difficult or dangerous to reach. Today, I want to emphasize the importance of employing these machines responsibly, with a particular focus on both the scissor and the boom lifts. First and foremost, let's talk about scissor lifts. These vertical lifting platforms are commonly used for tasks like maintenance, installation, and construction. When operating a scissor lift, it is essential to conduct a walkthrough pre-start inspection. Check the hydraulic system, the controls, and safety features before each use. Ensure all the components are in good working condition to prevent any unforeseen issues while at elevation. Stability is a key concern when using scissor lifts. Always set up on stable ground. If the terrain is uneven, use leveling jacks to create a secure base. Overloading a scissor lift is a common mistake that can lead to accidents. Be aware of the weight capacity of the platform and the materials being lifted and never exceed the established limits. Furthermore, the proper use of personal protective equipment, PPE, is non-negotiable. Workers operating scissor lifts should wear full body harnesses attached to the lift's designated anchor points. This adds an additional layer of protection in case of a fall. Now let's shift our focus to boom lifts, versatile machines that provide both vertical and horizontal reach. When operating a boom lift, understanding the machine's range and capabilities is crucial. Always position the lift at a safe distance from the work area, ensuring that the boom's movement won't cause collisions with structures or overhead obstacles. Before use, inspect the boom lift for any signs of wear, damage, or malfunction. Pay close attention to the condition of the hydraulic system, controls, and the stability of the platform. Regular maintenance checks and adherence to manufacturer's guidelines are essential for a safe working environment. One of the critical safety considerations with boom lift is the three point of contact rule. Operators should always maintain three points of contact when entering, exiting, or working from the platform. This typically involves two hands and one foot, ensuring a secure grip and preventing slips or falls. In both scissor and boom lifts, communication is key. Establish a concise communication protocol between operators and ground personnel and other workers in the vicinity. This helps avoid misunderstandings and ensures that everyone is aware of the list movements and potential hazards. In conclusion, the safe use of aerial work platforms, including scissor and boom lifts, is fundamental to promoting a secure working environment in the construction industry. By conducting a thorough inspection, adhering to weight capacities, using proper PPE and fostering clear communication, we can significantly reduce the risk of accidents and create a safer workplace for all. All right, boys and girls, yeah, these work platforms, aerial work platforms, we use them all the time. They're super critical to the work that we do. Uh, they have special sensors in them. If you get them out of level, they won't move. Had an incident recently where a man and a woman were on a uh, a, a, a boom lift, a straight boom lift, and they were putting up some, hanging some st light steel for a, 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 a frame for some uh, roll up doors. And <clears throat> they had it set perfect, but when they boomed out, 
they didn't have it on a proper surface and it kind of went forward and stopped the thing. And if there weren't other people on site to help them get that thing back into position where they could retract, they could have been hung up uh, in the air for quite a while. So make sure that they're always on a level, level ground so that when they go to extend, it doesn't canter and throw off the balance and shut the machine down. It, it, I have seen them completely lay over and tip down and I, uh, so be careful with these boom lifts. Make sure you inspect them. Remember the manuals should be in them at all times. Follow also safe work procedures and make sure that whoever you put on that machine has been qualified to operate that equipment. Well, that's it for today, boys and girls. I appreciate everybody stopping by and checking out the video. If you found anything useful here, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and uh, also subscribe down below here uh, to help help me know that, uh, that uh, people are, are really using this information. Anyway, that's it for today. Remember, have a grateful day. Take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out after your co-workers and help ensure their safety. And most of all, have a grateful day and I'll see you next time. Stop recording.